confident they'll have better fortune in the den. Our hairdressers turned entrepreneurs, Russian Denis Kovalyov and Australian Rob Forgione. We're very passionate. Really passionate. It's 24-7. I don't yeah. think we would have got this far and come today if we didn't think we could do it. Hello, dragons. Hi. My name is Dennis, and this is Rob. We're pitching here for you today for £80,000 investment in return for 8% equity. We would like to introduce you today a multi-award winning Peter Certified Infusing Color Shampoo, Infuse My Color. We noted a gap in the market of colouring shampoos. We created a quality product that's free from and vegan. The product comes in five shades, colours hair from dark brown right through to blonde. Just wash the hair, rinse it through and adds colour instantly. Since launch in February 2017, we have sold just under 45,000 bottles generating £248,000 in revenue with gross profit of £117,000. Infuse My Colour hit the niche market by storm with retailers like Boots, Amazon, and with selected e-tailers across the globe. Our main plan for brand development and expansion is the USA market. Um, we would like to welcome you to try some samples, and any questions is really welcomed. A colourful pitch. If you got my shade correctly. From hair care entrepreneurs Denis Kovalyov and Rob Forgione. For vibrant reds and candy pink. Ruby. <laughs> they want a zingy £80,000 in return for 8% of their vegan, free from, colouring shampoo range. Peter Jones is first to probe the product. So, basically, in essence, it's a range of Colour wash shampoo. Yes, Correct. it's is the hair shampoo which infuses hair colour with the pigment. Is there an issue with it with regards to daily usage? It's a vegetable dye, a molecule that dissolves biodegradable. It doesn't stain skin or scalp. So it's not bad for the hair, no. Guys, what's your target customer? With actually any hair type, for instance, on your hair, you could use the copper tone, it would give a nice gloss to your hair. But who is buying your product? Who's your target audience? So our really? target audience, the person who is younger audience, who is up to 25 years old. This is the customer who wants these results. It's extremely bright, this dye, isn't it? It is, it, yeah. In your hand, it's very bright. But well, obviously... Well, the hair, it's very bright, yeah. I think. Some consumers <laughs> out there buying four or five colours and creating this galaxy hair look at home, mm. sending me videos of what they did, I'm like, do you want a job as a hairdresser? You're 15, <laughs> never done hair before, and you're creating unicorn hair. Can you tell me who your competitors are? We have a lot of competitors in terms of the colour enhancing products. However, we have a unique offering of the quality of the ingredients and the colour delivery. You the only guys doing the vegetable dye? We are the only PETA certified vegan and cruelty free brand. And apart from Boots, which other stores do you think this would work well? We are talking to Superdrug. We are creating for them a special edition product. You know, in terms of your distribution, it's exactly where my products are. So I've got a beauty supplement for skin, hair and nails. The number one in the country, we sell it to Boots. And then, of course, Superdrug. Do you have any idea of the market size in the UK for these colored dyes? This is where the hype for the bright colour started and it's only growing. And the biggest in the world at the moment is the USA market and we are working now really hard on go-to-market plan with the USA. Guys, are you talking to distributors in the US or are you at very early stages where you're thinking which way do we go? We're shortlisted to just one at the moment. And have you done some research into the US market? What's the closest product to this? On the consumer side, it's very similar to the selection that's available here from the multinationals at the same sort of price point, so, yeah. 
But they haven't got the veganism at the heart. No, of none of that. Oh, yeah. not, not yet. And it's a big USA love organic, they love vegan. Certainly California does. Yeah. A standout ethos and an untapped market give the hair care entrepreneurs an impressive edge. But will their numbers wash with Tuka Suleiman? What's your forecast for the next 12 months? Because we're expanding into the USA, we're talking about £900,000 turnover. Gross profit? Um, gross profit would be about 350. 350? Yeah. And what do you expect to net on the 350? Net profit? Yeah. Because it's, we're, we're allocating 25% of our turnover into the marketing, so um, the net profit. Which means you'll lose money probably? Yeah. How much will you lose? Um, approximately 15,000. 15? Yeah. Guys, uh, how much have you spent so far in getting... Uh, we put together on? about 80,000 pounds. And what's the shareholding? Is it just... 50-50. Uh, 50-50. Share, You've not had to give any, away any equity no. anywhere? No, no. Yeah. That is very good. We're totally self-funded. And what was your motivation to take this step? We actually married. Okay. Recently? A year yeah. ago. Oh, it was too late to congratulate you then. <laughs> yeah, a year ago. Um, I think that the whole story why we started because we had a huge experience working for big brands mm. um, and we both wanted to create something unique. But you have got a pretty hefty valuation on this business. 80,000 for 8%. That's a million pound business, isn't it? Yeah. On something that's only turned over a quarter of a million and made very little money so far. So how do you justify that large valuation? Based on the pro uh, what the retailers we would like to acquire. Based upon its future potential. Yes. Yeah. Guys, I really like it. I like the product. It's fun, it's funky. So are you guys. You know your stuff as well. I can tell you really, really know your stuff. I'm not so keen on where your numbers are up to at the moment. You're not really making any money. There's some way to go to making this into a profitable business. So I'm going to politely decline because it doesn't quite fit with what I'm doing and where I'm going at the moment. Okay. So I wish you all the best. I'm out. Thank you. A major setback for the entrepreneurs as Jenny Campbell offers plenty of compliments but no cash. Is Peter Jones primed to show them the colour of his money? I'm extremely conflicted. I'm involved in another brand. We have four different variants of colourways on shampoo and conditioner. I feel that it would be disingenuous of me to even conflict. consider investing in a business like this when I've got a conflict elsewhere. So I'm going to declare myself out. Thank you. Well, I like it. What's not to like about it, you know? Yep. It's great. What colour are you going to go for? I might scare you all and come in here with Whoa. red hair. <laughs> <laughs> the stumbling blocks your valuation. There's a long way to go and a lot of opportunities to make mistakes. But I'm going to make you an offer. And I'm going to offer you all of the money. But I want 25% of the business. What does everybody else think of Infuse My Colour? The boys will be very shy about it, aren't they? Mm. I like it. What do you want from a dragon? Expertise. Because we're expanding into the foreign market, yep. we do not have that experience. So we need guidance and we need support. I'm going to make you an offer. And I believe that I can offer you the mentorship, the markets, how to approach the US. You've got the product right. The product speaks for itself. But I think there's a bit more that you're going to need along the way. Sure. So I'll give you all of the money, 80,000, 
but I also want 25%. I guess it's just me left, Dennis and Rob. I think you guys have done everything right so far. And congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. you know, I actually think this can be a very big brand, 50 million pounds or more. And I feel this is my area of expertise. I deal with all the major supermarkets and pharmacy stores. And with regards to international, I sell in about 100 countries, so I've got distributors in every country. So I am going to give you an offer. And that's all of the money for 25%. Can we have a minute? Yes. Please, <laughs> talk to the wall. An impressive three dragons vying for the entrepreneur's business. But they are all demanding 17% more equity than the 8% the entrepreneurs wanted to give away. Have Dennis and Rob got the nerve to negotiate? Is there any of you two, Deborah and Taj, will be willing to reduce the stake? You haven't asked me, so I'm assuming you're not interested in me. Um. You know, I hear what I'm not wanting. And we're, we're I, not disrespectful in any way. No, 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 way. I, I can take a rejection. So on that basis, guys, I'm out. Thank you. No joy for a jilted Tuka Suleiman. Can Tej Lalvani or Deborah Meaden seal a deal? Look, I mean, the thing is, I know I can add value that's directly beneficial to your business. If I got my money back in two years, I'd drop it to 20%, but that's the best I could do. Tebra? You're in a very, very tender stage of the business now. You're not as far along as I think you possibly think you are. It's very easy to say we can go into the US, you know, it always takes longer, it always costs more money, you know. Yeah. So I'm going to stick with what I think is a fair offer. We're going to accept Taj's offer, please. Great. He's a great dragon. You're well done, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. So more than just a good hair day for Dennis and Rob, who exit the den with the backing of an expert in the business of beauty. We've got what we came for, and we've got an amazing dragon on board. We are really, really thrilled. I look forward to having pink and gold and blue hair by yeah. the end of the week. What colour are you going to go, Taj? <laughs> Me? Uh, I'm going to go with gold. Go for gold. <laughs>